privacy and security, this is the most important part of the blockchain ecosystem, what makes it more useful, acceptable and welcome day by day. Now we have one of the worldwide experts in cybersecurity and trust in computing technology, Steven Sprague, CEO and co-founder of Rivets Project. Cybersecurity is failing in mobile and distributed world, as you say in your white paper. What do you mean? And what is the solution Rivets offering? Well, so the real challenge with cybersecurity is that for almost 25 years now, we've relied on the concepts of network security. And so you connect to your corporate network and the infrastructure of the corporation protects the network, not the end device. And as the world has gone more mobile, as the applications have moved to the cloud, we're obviously not on the corporate network anymore. And so there are many transactions today where you're in the, you know, you're in the hotel connected to um, a cloud service and there's really no security from the corporation that's involved or, or from anyone who's supervising. When we add blockchain to that, we get an even more decentralized infrastructure. And so really the tools of network security and, and what's been a, a system of, of surveillance and watching um, really doesn't work anymore. And so we need a new paradigm, a new model. And, and we believe that model is to engage the device and to apply a known device in a known condition um, and have that help us in the process of both authentication and transactions. Who's your target audience, users or developers? Tell us please about your main goal. So Rivets is a project that is designed to support developers of services. At the end, we're all here to serve users. Um, Multi-factor authentication and long passwords and biometrics, all of these things are adding complexity to our daily lives. Our favorite form of authentication that's actually quite secure has been dial the phone number and push the send button. And underneath the send button is a hardware security infrastructure um, in the form of a SIM chip that has protected the carriers for many years. Today, inside almost a billion chips, there is hardware security within the ARM processor architecture already in your um, Samsung phones, your LG phones, your L HTC phones. And what Rivets does is we build a set of tools and capabilities that expose that embedded hardware security so that developers can incorporate that service into their application. And so what we provide are both APIs and services that make it easy to integrate into an app. Our new project is about incorporating a token model for both microtransactions and the operation of that new security capability for developers. So we can provide an on-demand capability to prove that the device is in a good condition for the owner of the platform. Rivets app is available only for Android system or FireOS and PC it is available too. Yeah, today um, Rivets initial solution is available on Android. Um, we support what's called a TEEOS that has um, that supplies the over-the-air provisioning on almost a billion Android phones. So it's enough of a market to get started. Uh, we also are, uh, are are engaged in supporting Intel's SGX capability. And SGX is Intel's mechanism in within their processors for hardware security within the processor architecture and will cover all PCs. Most new PCs since 2016 uh, now have SGX capabilities. And then finally on Apple, Apple has an ARM processor and actually the secure enclave in the iOS platform is running within the trusted execution environment. But the Apple um, operating system does not let us take advantage of that as a developer. Uh, and so it's right now constricted only to Apple. For sure, your project is unique. In what? Help our viewers to feel the difference between entering password and rivets using. Absolutely. The, the, the huge difference is that today, if you lose your password, we could use a big example like Yahoo, who lost 1.5 billion passwords. Um, it took them almost a year to recognize that they had lost all the passwords. And so as a user, you're really at a disadvantage. If we bind the security into your handset, then the huge advantage you have is if you lose your phone, you'll notice. 
Most people, if I take your phone away, it only takes a few minutes before you notice that your phone is missing and you'll take some action to protect yourself. And so by having your devices, your collection of devices be your identity, we really believe it provides a new model for cybersecurity where I log into my device, my device logs me into all the services I belong to. On the 25th of July, you will start your ICO. What are the main steps of Rivet's roadmap? Certainly. So the ICO is really an important addition to the Rivet's product line. We've been building developer tools now for a couple of years, and we've had a number of projects that we've been successful with in the marketplace. The, the ICO's purpose is to provide a token that does really two things. One, in the process of protecting a key within the trusted execution hardware of your handset, we can test and measure that the trusted execution hardware is in a good reference condition. And we can incorporate that as part of a transaction. And so the token is used to deliver a proof that the cybersecurity controls in the device were operational and we're in a condition that the owner of the device expected, and now we can bind that security into the transaction actually on the blockchain. The second thing that we can do is we can provide rules that wrap around the private key really for any token uh, within the platform, and we, we have a variety of models to support third-party tokens. Um, and, and so that what we're able to accomplish is a a policy engine or a set of rules controlled by the owner so that these tokens can only be spent um, really under the tight rules that the owner sets. And that way, if you want automated payments from a device, it's not going to be possible for a bot to just come by and say, hey, give me all your money. Because really, a device with an allowance is going to be a very complicated thing to protect. And so we believe having the right rules around that the, those spend really gives the possibility for automated money in a machine. So the ICO um, provides a token into the marketplace that will perform microtransactions so that we can support a variety of different partners within the ecosystem. Different partners that support cybersecurity controls, any type of third party control that can be added to a device, and also the process of storing the reference measurements and validation. So we think the economic model and the operation model of a cybersecurity token will be very valuable in the process of the global ecosystem. I have just a few more questions. Where your name project came from, Stephen? And who are in your team? Yeah, Rivets is kind of a fun name. I'm a, my, my background is in mechanical engineering. And a rivet is a specific type of fastener. If you, if you look at, um, you know, let's say stainless steel is riveted to leather, um, you know, if you make a, a piece of clothing or a piece of leather armor, right? And the unique process of a rivet is that a rivet can be removed without destroying the underlying materials. But every time you put a new rivet in, a rivet is unique. And so a rivet as a type of fastener is a really um, interesting uh, component. And so rivets is a, is a brand that's built off of that concept of fastening dissimilar materials, in this case, software and devices, and really providing a strong and unique binding between devices and services. What's your personal opinion about usefulness of blockchain? How necessary is its implementation worldwide? You know, blockchain is a really incredible technology. Blockchain does, does some very important things. Blockchain has the ability for the internet to store a fact. And what I mean by that is, once you write information to the blockchain, that data is stored for all time. The challenge we have is that data that is written to a blockchain, we cannot prove that the data was intended. We do not today have cybersecurity controls for each of the data elements. In essence, proof that the private key was properly protected. Rivets is working to solve that fundamental problem, that the data stored on a chain will also incorporate a hash that defines the quality and capability of the device that sent the instruction. And we believe this is really an important piece in bringing both compliance 
and cybersecurity controls to a chain because we can improve the quality of the data that's stored with the ability to have a proof in partnership with the owner. So there's very strong privacy here. What's stored on the chain is just a very large random number, but that hash represents the condition of the device that wrote the transaction. And whether it's a Rivets device or any other hardware um, wallet or even a server-based wallet system, the controls that are in place can now be bound into the transactions on the blockchain. I think blockchain will turn out to be one of the very important innovations um, in the 21st century and, and really provide a new model for a distributed and global trust system that's built on the power of signatures and this distributed architecture of mining and, and you know, proof of work or proof of stake, that model of game theory that assures the trust models um, continue to work. Thank you so much. It was so nice to talk to you. See you next time. Oh, thank you very much for your time. And, and certainly we're pleased to be bringing a cybersecurity token to the marketplace. Cybersecurity deserves to be built into every project. And we're trying to bring the tools that make that possible and bring together this incredible installed base of trusted computing capable devices with the innovation and, and new models of blockchain going forward. Colescoin News was on air with Steven Sprague, CEO and co-founder of Rivets Project.